Hello everyone, welcome back to MixBuds TV Mixing and Mastering Tutorials on YouTube. New episode of our series on how to mix trap and hip hop vocals on a two track instrumental. Today we are gonna break down the chorus. Before we start, I want to thank you all again for your support. The channel keeps growing like crazy. And thank you also for being patient with me because uploads are not as frequent as I would like them to be. But let's get to the subject of the video and let's take a listen to the chorus. Okay, so let's start taking a look at what actual tracks do we have. We have a main lead vocal, which is this red one. Then we have a double and the ad libs. So these are the only performance actual audio tracks that we have in the chorus. The first, the lead vocal, the red tracks, these is just, the second one is just copied. So it's just a copy of the first one. While these two are two different performances, the, the yellow ones are two different performances. And as well as a different performance and a different part is the ad lib track. So as you can see, we have some processing in insert for the lead track and for the ad lib. And then the two lead tracks go to our lead hook bus and the doubles go to our hook double bus, which we have here. This is the lead hook bus and the hook double bus. And we have additional processing on these buses as well. Actually, the bulk of the processing is pretty much here. So let's start bypassing everything that we have on these buses and listen to them in solo. We bypass also the ad libs processing as well. So the first one is this, the hook. How you gonna fuck me me win? You ain't even half of me, nigga. A hundred round drawn and I'm sprint, taking that half of you, nigga. Pulling up, taking your bitch. That ain't even half of me, nigga. Okay, so we have the 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 lead track raw without any processing on, and as I said, the second one is just a copy of it. How you gonna fuck me me win? You ain't even half of me, nigga. Okay, just the volume. A hundred rounds on that on screen. Taking that half of you, nigga. They are the same exact track. So as you can see, the first processing is auto tune. And these are my settings. How you gonna fuck me me win? You ain't even half of me, nigga. A hundred rounds on that on screen. Taking that half of you, nigga. Pulling up, taking your bitch. Just to give the, as we said, for the verse, just to give it the, the tone, the character, the effect that is so common in this kind of music. Pretty standard. And then we have the first compressor, which is soft tube. How you gonna fuck me, me win? You ain't even half of me, nigga. I'm taking out a hundred round drawing and spring, taking bees. that half of you, nigga. Pulling up, taking your bitch. That ain't even half of me, nigga. Okay, it already is not dynamically, the track by itself is not dynamically wild, so I don't need to squeeze it too much. And the chorus, the, the idea, the feeling that I want is not the squeezed in your face kind of sound, okay? Because I have the verses that are like that. The verses are, are way more aggressive. The chorus is a little more seated is a little less in your face. So this compressor is smooth, pretty polished sounding. I feel it was appropriate for this track, for this vocal. How you gonna fuck me me win? You ain't even half of me, nigga. Next in line is the Kramer 
HLS. And as you can see, I'm using it to cut just one dB at 2.8K. It's just a little dip to make the vocals a little more intelligible. And I'm using the saturation of it. Uh, now, the saturation on this plugin is very, very subtle, and I love it for that. And uh, I, I set the, the line mic switch on line because if you set it on mic, it slightly rolls off the lows, and I didn't want that from, from this plugin in this case. So let's hear it without. How you gonna fuck me, me win? You ain't even half of me, nigga. A hundred rounds on that sprint, taking out half of you, nigga. Pulling up, taking your bitch, that ain't even half of me. This is the frequency that I'm cutting. How you gonna fuck me, me win? You ain't even half of me, nigga. Okay. A hundred rounds on that sprint, taking out half of you, nigga. If you listen to it in solo, probably it sounds better with that frequency boosted, but we have the double and it was clashing with it. So I had to remove just a, just a dB there. Then we have the delay in, in insert. As you noticed, I usually like to put a little bit of delay in insert on tracks. Um, the reason is it, I can create a little more space and then the track goes to the bus and it goes to the effects and I like to have it a little ambient on its own when I then send it to two other uh, buses and aux effects. How you gonna fuck me, me win? You ain't even half of me, nigga. A hundred rounds on that sprint, taking out half of you, nigga. Okay, so I want you to listen to this delay because it's heavily processed and is heavily limited in its bandwidth as you can see the filters here how you gonna fuck me me win you ain't even half of me nigga a hundred rounds on that sprint taking out half of you nigga it's a mono delay pulling up taking your bitch that ain't even half of nigga got my leg i lean in my system that ain't even half of me nigga just a little bit to create a little more depth then we have the let's go to the bus to the main output bus we have a de-esser. How you gonna fuck me, me win? You ain't even half of me, nigga. This is not really working. Sprint, almost a, half of you, nigga. at all, just bits. Pulling up, taking your bitch. That ain't even half of me, nigga. Then we have the main EQ. As for the other tracks, the frequencies that I'm cutting and boosting are pretty much the same because, as I mentioned in the previous videos, there was a problem with the mic. Uh, with the the room probably where these vocals were recorded and I have the same problems on all, all the vocal tracks so the the problem area the problem frequencies were pretty much the same this vocals is very boxy and is very dark so as you can see I'm cutting all this junk here mid uh, low mid and adding a little bit of air how you gonna fuck me, me win? You ain't even half of me, nigga. A hundred rounds on that sprint, taking out half of you, nigga. Big difference. Pulling up, taking your bitch. That ain't even half of me, nigga. Then I have the other EQ to remove the harshness that we've seen in the previous videos at 3K and 10K around here and some more low mid. How you gonna fuck me, me win? You ain't even half of me, nigga. A hundred rounds on that sprint, taking out half of you, nigga. Pulling up, taking your bitch, that ain't even half of me, nigga. And again, think uh, this processing in the context, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm having you listen to them in solo to understand what did I do, uh, like zooming in, but when, when, I, when you compare with and without, think always about the mix, not the track in solo. How you gonna fuck me, me win? You ain't even half of me, nigga. A hundred rounds on that sprint, taking out half of you, nigga. The concept here is to make it smoother, okay? Then we have a compressor. How you gonna fuck me, me win? You ain't even half of me, nigga. A hundred rounds on that sprint, taking out half of you, nigga. Taking out. Pulling up, taking your bitch. That ain't even half of me, nigga. Six to eight dB. Got my leg all in my system. That ain't even half of me, nigga. War mode, electro mode. You can see attack and release and ratios, pretty standard, uh, simple R compressor. And then the Chris Lord Algae vocals, just to remove a little more of that low mid area and giving a little bit of top that you know I like 
uh, for this genre with this specific plugin. Without. How you gonna fuck me, me win? You ain't even half for me, nigga. With. A hundred rounds on that sprint, taking that half for you, nigga. So all the high mid and high that I cut with this EQ and previously with the other EQ on insert, that 1.5 dB cut at around 3K is compensated with this one. This one makes a lot of difference. This, this little bit of top here in the treble fader, it makes the vocals shine so much. How you gonna fuck me, me win? You ain't even half of me, nigga. A hundred rounds on that sprint, taking that half of you, nigga. Okay. Pulling up, taking your bitch. That ain't even half of me, nigga. Probably this is a very broad, hot, very high uh, band in probably shelf, and it makes a, a big difference. Then we have the sense. So the lid hook is sent to the verb bus and the delay bus and this one is not going anywhere so i'm not going to show you let's hear the verb first is pre is not pre fader so i can't have you listen to the verb uh, let's try to put it in pre fader and this is the reverb now all my tracks, all the vocal tracks are sent to this main reverb here. Even the uh, verses that we've seen in the previous videos and the uh, ad lib, everything. Uh, as you can see, all the vocal tracks are sent to the main delay that we've seen in the previous video and on the main reverb. And it's pretty simple. This is what we have on the main reverb. So we have a hall reverb with a pretty, pretty big pre-delay and a pretty long time. Uh, as you can see, I have 20, 25 milliseconds of pre-delay and 2.4 uh, seconds of uh, decay. So it's a very big, very long delay. And as you can see, the algorithm is hall. And the size is all the way up because I want it big, but if you hear it in the mix, it, the volume, the level of the reverb is very, very, very low. And before the reverb, I have this EQ that's just cutting pretty much everything below 500 hertz and a little smooth at the top. Let's try to boost the volume a bit. Now pay attention to the um, early reflections. If I take the reverb tail out, okay, even if the volume of the reverb is low in the in the mix, these um, early reflections so wide apart, one from another, so so spread out they do make a nice space around the vocal, okay? If we add the, the tail, if we remove the EQ, there's a lot of junk in the low, low end that we don't need. That's the pre-delay is so high is important because we don't want the vocals to be washed out by the reverb using a pretty high pre-delay we we are able to separate the 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 reverb from the lead vocal so the vocal stays intelligible but we give it space how you gonna fuck me, me win? You ain't even half of me, nigga. And as you can see, the volume is very low. So, pulling up, taking your bitch. That ain't even half of me, nigga. Got my leg out in my system. That ain't even half of me, nigga. It's just space. You hear more clearly the delay that is an insert in this track than the reverb. Let's take it out. How you gonna fuck me, me win? You ain't even half of me, nigga. A hundred rounds on that sprint, taking that half of you, nigga. 
Pulling or taking. And this is the reason because I like to put the, the a little bit of delay in insert because the delay is gonna be reverberated. How you gonna fuck me, me win? You ain't even half for me, nigga. A hundred round joint and sprint, taking a half for you, nigga. Okay. So especially in trap music, uh it's not as dry as I don't know, urban hip hop, uh strict hip hop where where stuff is a lot drier. Trap, I like it because the arrangements are always minimal, so you have space to do things. But you need to pay attention because it still has to seem like, to sound like it's dry, but it's not. It's just, you need to use delays and verbs to create uh, bigness and not, not to be obvious effects. Some of them, yes, like our main delay that we are going to uh, take a look right now. How you gonna fuck me, me win? You ain't even half of me, nigga. We seen this. A hundred round joint and I'm sprint, taking a half of you, nigga. Pulling up, taking your bitch, that ain't even half of me, nigga. Got my leg, I lean in my system, that ain't even half of me, nigga. We've seen this in the previous uh, videos, but we're gonna take a look at it right now as well. This, the Mod Delay 3, I use it on the verses to stereoize what is in in reality a mono delay as you can see my h delay here is not ping ponging so if we listen to the verse we have the delays always in full throttle looking like the lotto you look like you too cheap with that little ass bottle ball ain't no tomorrow with a gang of models which is stereoized but here in the chorus this mod delay is automated to, to turn off because I want the delay in the chorus to be mono, not to be ping-ponging. So the automation just tells our stereoizing mod delay 3 to turn off. How you gonna fuck me, me win? You ain't even half for me, nigga. Okay. A hundred round joint and no sprint, taking a half for you, nigga. And then we have one quarter note, and after the delay, my PSP spring and the sidechain compressor. I'm not going into detail with these because we've seen it in the previous video. How you gonna fuck me, me win? You ain't even half for me, nigga. The lead dry vocal keeps. Pulling up, taking your bitch, that ain't even half of me, nigga. Got my leg, I lean in my system, that ain't even half of me, nigga. And this is pretty much it for our lead vocal on the hook. We've seen the insert processing, the output bus, and the send uh, to the effects. In the next video, we're going to take a look at the processing of the copy track, the stereoized uh, double, which is just a copy of the lead vocal, not another performance. And in the episode after that, we're going to take a look at the actual other two performances that uh, complete the doubles of the hook for the song. So this is it for today. Please keep supporting the channel by sharing the videos. If you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel and see you next time.